We begin in Yemen, where the authorities say that about 80 people have been killed in a stampede at a school during a distribution of charity ahead of the Muslim holiday of Eid. Hundreds of people, including many children, had, j had j gathered to receive gifts of money in the charity event arranged by local merchants in the capital, Sana. Simon Jones reports. Chaos and confusion after hundreds of people had come to a school in the Bab al Yemen area of the capital. A charity had been giving out donations of around $9 per person. <laughs> Eyewitnesses say the crowd became so large that Houthi forces who were in charge in the area started firing into the air to try to restore order. They are said to have struck an electrical cable, resulting in an explosion. Panic ensued, causing a crush. The discarded shoes and clothing left behind, giving some indication of how many people were involved. Dozens have lost their lives, hundreds more have been taken to hospital, some in a critical condition. The Interior Ministry says those responsible for the distribution of aid have been detained. An investigation is underway. The UN describes the situation in Yemen as one of the world's worst humanitarian tragedies. The country has seen eight years of fighting between Houthi rebels and pro-government forces. A major prisoner swap has been taking place between the warring sides. The Red Cross says this is a chance to reunite hundreds of families torn apart by conflict, a glimmer of hope during the holy month of Ramadan. But now new pain with a stampede that has claimed so many lives. Simon Jones, BBC News. And there's a lot more detail on that story on our website. As you can see here, the situation in Yemen as it unfolds. The, wor the real worry and fear is that the numbers of those who've been uh, killed in this stampede will climb. So keep an eye on that. Just uh, head to bbc.com forward slash news or use the BBC News app.